latest study, Louisiana ranks second in the country for having the most cases of heartworms for pets. While it can be deadly for your cat or dog, it's also treatable. WDSU anchor Randy Russo has more on what you can do to protect your furry friends during Heartworm Prevention Month. Well, just last year, about 130 pets were adopted out of the Louisiana SPCA that were heartworm positive. And Bert here is heartworm positive for us. We've got Jessica Lovelady, who I love her last name. <laughs> who doesn't love the last name Lovelady? <laughs> who actually deals with us on a daily basis. And, you know, here in New Orleans, heartworm is very prevalent when yes. it comes to our dogs. Yes, it is. Um, most, most people don't realize, but uh, they are transmitted via mosquitoes, which we have an abundance of here. Um, so we often have to be very careful and make sure we're doing monthly preventative for our pets, um, cats and dogs, uh, to make sure that we uh, can prevent the heartworms from from I guess get, yeah. from, from actually getting it. And you actually told me that cats get heartworms just like dogs do, but there's no treatment correct, available for correct. the cats. Correct. The only thing we can do is prevention for kitty cats. So you just want to make sure it's super important that you're doing monthly preventative for them. And how would you prevent it? Um, there are three different ways. <clears throat> We've got a topical, um, a chewable, or a um, oral pill, and then there's also an injection. So there's three different ways to do it. Um, the topical and the chewable are done monthly, and an injection can last up to six months. And let's say that your dog You've got a dog like Bert here who does have heartworms. What do you do in terms of treatment? What does that last and, and you know, that kind of thing? Yeah, so um, treatment can be um, very expensive. It can cost from 600 to over $1,000, depending on the uh, size of the dog. Um, so at the Louisiana SPCA, we do have um, adoptables that are heartworm positive, like Bert here. Um, but uh, we, due to our uh, volunteers' fundraising efforts, um, it is, the treatment is at no cost to adopters. Um, so they can come and get treatment at at the SPCA and um, so what does treatment, like, treatment entail? entail yeah yeah so uh, it is can be it's a multi vet process so it can last from four to six months um, starting with a consultation um, then they do antibiotics for a month and they come back in a month after finishing antibiotics do it a first injection then another month they come back for a second and third injection and then they're good to go and then they're good to go home with you if you want them and you know Bert is up for adoption right now you guys found Bert actually somebody dropped Bert off to you guys. In he was the dropped. Yes, one of our uh, humane officers was putting in some information at the uh, at her car, and her window happened to be down. And a um, citizen came by and dropped placed him. Bert in her car. <laughs> so now, if you want to maybe adopt Bert, or you know maybe adopt one of the other heartworm positive dogs, or just a pet in general, over at the LESBCA, you can go to their website there or call that phone number for more information. Jessica and Bert, thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.